Hey everybody, welcome back to Level Pixel Level, and welcome back to this night rigging series. In the last video we added the IK legs, and in this video I'm just going to add the FK arms. So I'm just going to do a couple things that I noticed just while playing around with the rig. Uh, the extra control here, if I just put it on in the outliner, I can do that by hitting the decimal point on my number pad a couple times. I can actually find that control. It's parented to the arm control right now, and I just want it parented to the hand control. So I'll just select it, shift click on the hand, and do control P, keep offset. One other thing I want to take care of just before I get into the arm FK and, and turn IK is to actually give the elbow a little bit of a bend. If I just come to side view, let me just isolate these two bones. So you'll notice that these are actually kind of pointed forward just a little bit. So that means that when my IK from here actually moves up, it might actually bend the elbow forward just a little bit. I want the IK to actually just have a slight bend backwards towards the direction I want it to go in and the natural elbow. Just something like that. So when I push the arm up, the elbow will actually push back this way by default with the actual IK. So now we're talking about FK here, but I just want to get this figured out first before I get too far into the FK, because if I have to go back and change the FK because the IK isn't correct, uh, it'll take a long time. So I've got both the elbows selected here. I'm just going to hit G and Y just to move them back a little bit. You know, I'll just bring back the model just to make sure I'm not going too far. Too far would be something um, like I was doing something like that. Obviously, that's a little extreme, but just as an example. So you know, I'll give it just a little bit more of a bend. Maybe not that much, maybe about there. Cool, that's looking good. So to grab all of the arm and the hands, let's do everything at the same time. So I'm gonna grab all of these controls here, every single one, even all of the hand controls and the uh, extra control right here for the armor. Let's actually do both sides at the same time just to make sure I'm getting everything. And this will be similar to what I've done with other parts where I'm gonna duplicate it, separate it, and join it to the control rig. Now I'm doing it in piecemeal. I'm going to do it piece by piece by piece just for this demonstration, but you could have actually just duplicated the entire rig off the top and built on top of that. I just kind of like to do it this way just so I know what I'm duplicating. So I'm going to hit shift D and enter. Oops, just escape so I don't actually move it. And I'll hit P to separate. And now if I come back to my outliner here, I have a new object called Night Deform Rig 001, which is my arms right here. If I shift click, on the control rig and do control J to join them. I've now made them one rig. So I'm just going to isolate this just so I can look at it. And I did write some code earlier to fix some of this stuff. So I'm going to go to the text editor. I'll open up my code here. And I have my rename script and I have my little copy transform script here. What I'll do is I'll just do um, DEF constraints just to throw that into a function. And then I can just tab all this over and I can just name that uh, constraints so I can use it later. And I'll just comment it out for now. What I'm doing is I'm making this code more of a modular block that I can call at any time. So if I don't want to use it, I can just comment it out rather than commenting out every single line here if I don't need it or making two or three scripts. So I'll bring back my rename function and I'll just select on the new arm bones that I just added. I'll just do both sides. I'll just flip to the bone tab just to watch my rename take place. So again, I had that 001 at the end, which is right here, and I'm gonna add main at the front. So if I run this, okay, so that failed because my first line here is bones, bpy.context.selectposeBones. So I gotta flip it to pose mode, and now I should be able to run it, and it renames all of my pieces here. Let's do one last thing. Uh, I'm going to add FK to a bunch of these pieces. So I'm going to grab onto my arm bones here. Yeah, I think that should be good. And I'm just going to comment out two of these lines here. And I'm just going to say bone.name equals FK underscore plus bone.name. Now, if I run this, it'll just add the FK onto the front of all of these bones. While I have these selected, I'm just gonna move them to a new layer. I like to keep my IK and my FK separated, and I just move them down here. 
Again, to move them to a new layer, I just have them all selected and in viewport, I just hit M on my keyboard to bring up change bone layers and then just click down. Okay, that worked great. I'm just gonna comment that out. And let's actually move all of the arm controls now that are left into another layer, just to keep everything nice and clean on my rig setup. This wasn't so bad at the first when I just had my spine controls, but now it's getting a little cluttered. So I'll just move all of these to this layer right here. So I have my arm and my hand controls here. All right, so before we clean up the last little bit and add our shapes, let's just flip back to the deform rig and add the constraints. I'm gonna run into a couple problems, but I'll just fix them as I go. I'll just isolate this. And the one problem I'm gonna run into is that I added these constraints on the leg, these copy transforms. I added them with this code here. So let's comment out my rename code and I'll bring back my constraints code. Now my constraints code does look for main in the bone name and I just added FK to a bunch of bone names, specifically um, these ones right here. So what I'll do is I'll just do everything but those first, just because I know that their names haven't changed. So I'll just do all the fingers right now and just get that out of the way. So I'll just select that on both sides. And now I should be able to run this and I should just add all those constraints. And I did get an error. And that's because this for loop right here isn't actually doing anything. It's, it's an indentation error. I just need one of these comments just to be uncommented. Even though this function isn't running, the for loop itself still needs to be finalized with a final line of code to have that indent there. So now if I run this though, it should be fine. Cool. So I'd add copy transforms to every one of these. So to fix this really quick, I can just grab the arms and I can just change my code to FK underscore main instead of just the main. Now, if I run this, it'll add to all those. This is how I tend to use script in rigs. It's less of an actual final script as something I'm just sort of modifying as I'm going to help me batch through objects. Now I could have done all this manually and might have taken me a couple more minutes, but it's just something I like to do as I go or I'm constantly using the same script over and over again. I'm just modifying it a little bit based on what I'm working through. Okay, so let's test this out. Let's go back to the control rig here. And let's just grab an arm and just rotate it and see if it moves. Cool. So I'm getting actual movement on my arms. Last thing I'll do is I'm just going to add shapes to all of these. And I might even do the shapes with code now as well too. I'm just going to add one to start. I'm just going to add a circle and just move it over. I will be coming back through and renaming all these circles later. I promise. I'll copy the circle name here. And I'm just going to add it to the clavicle shoulder bone here or whatever it is. So I come to the bone, I come to viewport display, and I'm just going to paste it in here. That's working all right. I do want to flip the axes though. I want this to be going with the direction of the bone. So I'll just grab this in edit mode, the circle itself, and rotate it by 90 on the X axis. Cool. So I want this circle control or the circle shape on all of these bones. So I'm just going to add a new function. I'm going to call it uh, shape update, I guess. And same thing, I'm gonna look through the pose bones and then I'm gonna say four bone and bones. Uh, I think it's bone.shape. I'm just gonna hover over it. And if I actually turn on my Python tooltips, so around your preferences under interface, you have tooltips and you have Python tooltips. I like to keep both those on. Uh, Developer extras is a good one to have on as well too. I'll just close this. When I hover over the custom shape, it's showing me it's pose bones custom shape. So it's the bone name there, which is the bone that I'm actually going to be going through and then the custom shape that it's going to equal to. So I'm going to say bone.custom shape equals, I think it takes an object input. So bpy.objects, or sorry, data.objects. And I'll just grab on the object and just grab the name. I'll just copy it and paste it into my field here. So let's do shape update. And I'll just grab all of these controls here and let's see what happens. Cool, that worked. So now I have circles on all of these controls here. Um, that worked out great. Let's just do a couple things now and just resize them. So I'll bring back my character here and some of these I might come back and add new circles to later, but I'm just gonna bring them down for now. What I can do is I can select on the left and the right here and hold Alt and adjust the scale. Now another great script here would be something like a shape mirror size. That's something I could add later on and I might 
at some point. The only thing is right now it's just easier just to quickly do it by hand. So I'll grab onto my FK joints here, and just scale those down. I'll grab onto my elbow, I'll scale those down. And I'll just do the wrist control here as well. So I'm just selecting left and right and I'm just holding Alt as I toggle the scale value. Okay, I'm just going to isolate the rig for a second, just so I can select on all the hand controls on their own. I'll just grab the left hand as well too. All right, I'll just hold that scale button and just dial those in. I might do a cleanup pass where I just give these a different shape later on, but I think this should be good for now. I'll just scale these guys up here too. Okay, let's bring everything back and let's just test this out. Cool, so that's my little tweaker for that armor there. This is my shoulder control, or my elbow control, sorry. And this is my main shoulder right here for this guy. And I have this control here. I'll just do one last thing. I'll put these all into a group. So I'll go to my hand FK group first. So I'm just going to select all of these. And under bone groups, I'm just going to add one called FK arm. And I'm going to put them to green and just assign them for now. I'll go to this section. I'm going to put the hand controls in their own layer for now. And I'll just make those pink for now and assign them. And then these ones are more my tweaker controls and my clavicle controls. So I'll just call those arm controls for now. And I'll just make them white and assign them. Okay. That's my arm FK setup. That's done and that's ready to go on my control rig. Uh, I like the way that that's working. In the next video, we'll just add the ARM IK setup on top of this. Uh, it's going to be a fairly simple IK setup, but it shouldn't take too long to build. Big thank you to my patrons for supporting me in this video. It's because of you guys that I can continue to make these videos. Head on over there if you want early access to everything I make, uh, some exclusive content, and some behind the scenes. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>